Okay, tech fans, in the last few years, it almost seems like AMD has pulled a magic rabbit out of a hat with Lisa Sue at the helm. But even though they've made great strides, honestly, the battle for them in many ways has just begun. Let's talk tech. Are you building a new system or just upgrading your old one? If you said yes, then chances are you need a brand new Windows 10 key. And right now, CD Key Sales has you covered with Windows 10 Home or Pro for under $15. And it's never been easier to buy. You simply create your account, put the software into your cart, add the code TT18 for 18%, Make your purchase, and then a few minutes later, your codes will be in your box. And all codes are guaranteed to activate. So if you want a great price and a great product, buy from someone you know and you can trust, CD Key Sales. All right, now for you suckers out there who keep saying when I say Let's Talk Tech is like Linus Tech Tips, are you guys trying to poke my funny button? Are you trying to make me mad? Because I ain't Canadian, so I won't get all mad about it. But no, I just thought I, but you guys are right. It does LTT, but I didn't get it from there. I just thought it up. So like I said in the beginning of the video, AMD in the last five years has really made giant strides, especially in the CPU department. Because if we think back to the days of Bulldozer and all that stuff, everybody was mocking it. And you guys should really go re-listen to the AMD fanboy song. A lot of people keep telling me, hey man, remake the song, remake the song. But honestly, we were poking fun at AMD fanboys. I'm not an AMD fanboy. I've rarely ever used AMD stuff. I review it fairly, but I am not really an AMD guy. I've always been an Intel NVIDIA guy. I just always have been, that's just how it is. That's who I favor with my money. Just like some people like Ford, some people like Chevy's, it's just my choice. It's not that I think their stuff is bad or anything, it's just I've never really used it, you know? I review it fairly because honestly, I know a lot of people out there have never had the money to jump into those expensive rigs. But I mean, I've been working my butt off in this industry since the very beginning and I really have loved gaming equipment and I've made a lot of sacrifices in my life to make sure I can get that stuff for, you know, doing what I love to do. Now, today's video though, like I said, is that AMD, even though they've made these great strides, the battle's honestly kind of just beginning for AMD. And there's a lot of reasons for this. Now, in my last video I made, I talked about how Intel had patent rights to a lot of x86 technology. And this is a fact. And one guy said a patent lasts 15 years. I mean, excuse me, 20 years, but I looked it up. A design patent can last up to 15 years. So from whenever, you know, Intel first laid in their x86, you know, design stuff and said, okay, we own this, it's our proprietary stuff. Anytime AMD wanted to use any bit of that in their CPU technology, which is also x86 technology, they have to pay Intel for this completely. Just like Intel now has to pay to, to use the technology that they're using. You know, they're borrowing technology from another company now and they're paying them and AMD is paying Intel. And that's just how it is right now. That's like one of the first things. Now, I talked about patent battles. This has also kept AMD a lot of times from being able to do what they wanna do. And even though they've won some of those patents, it's still a pain in the butt. So as these patents start to fall off, that will even more make the playing field even for AMD. Now. There's something I want to tell you guys, and you guys are probably going to think that I'm just bullcrapping you or making this up, but I'm really not. Um, there's such a thing in America called a monopoly, okay? Monopoly law is in place, and that means that no one company or person can control the entire market of something and be like the king god of the industry, okay? If Intel didn't have a rival, they would be a monopoly. AMD has had to have help from the government, either being backed by the US government, allowed not to pay taxes from the US government, or something to survive in their beginning years. Because every year, AMD would say, oh, okay, we lost all this money again. We lost all this money again. 
we lost all this money again. This happened literally for almost a decade where every report was like, wow, AMD just bled money through the ass. So how could a company even exist for that long without some kind of backing somewhere? You can't just lose tons of money and keep going. Because if you have no profit, how are you even gonna buy the new technology, the R&D to make new products? So this is, you know, I don't have the facts, I'm not the X-Files guy, but obviously somewhere along the way, AMD was kept in business until they actually become, you know, have actually, excuse me, became a competitive company. And now we see that AMD is becoming a very competitive company. They finally achieved that goal. Their profits are up, stocks are selling, AMD is now making money, they're not bleeding money anymore. Big difference in the company right there. You know, I don't know if Lisa, you know, is the sole person, you know, responsible for this, but it's probably her, lawyers, the team, everybody involved as a unit. It's usually never not just one person. You know, guys, know even the captain of the ship, this people still have the, the guy's got a steer ship, you got a cook, you got the guy bringing the stuff up. It's it's really, you know, probably her direction, but with other people that are really responsible. Another thing that's going to keep AMD from dominating the market is just really brand awareness and market share. Right now, Intel and Nvidia just have the shite ton of the market share that's all in their name. But I wanna say this right now. Back in the day, and this is probably maybe five, six, seven years ago, most of the time when I asked a lot of people who weren't into computers that they knew what AMD was, they had no idea what AMD was. It was always Intel inside. But that mindset's changed. When I ask people nowadays if they've heard of AMD, they've heard of AMD. That's the team red. So, you know, their social, um, um, I guess social awareness with the public has grown quite a bit. Now, how that's actually going to affect the market and equate back into sales and market share for them, you know, I'm not exactly sure, but if people are actually starting to know who AMD is and know their company, that's the more that Intel inside is going to fail. And honestly, Intel changing their logo when you're a company that's been around as long as them, you don't change your fucking logo. You don't do shit like that. You just don't. You leave your logo. People know who you are. I mean, it's not like changing your business model. They should have changed their business model before they changed their logo. But hey, no, that's just change the logo and it's all good. Ah! You know? But until these things actually change in the market completely around, and here are the things that I that I think can happen for AMD. And maybe five years from now, I'll be making a different video where I'm like, wow, um, AMD has kicked everybody's ass into the ground and they are number one all over the place. I mean, it can happen. Don't think it can't. We've talked about this before and I know a lot of you guys are aware of this. We've talked about a business that has a business model that they never change. They become a freaking dinosaur. You know what I mean? So they become a dinosaur and as the world changes and the meat runs out, guess what? They die. That's just how it is. That's why we've seen Sears, JC Penney's, so many other companies just completely fade out of the marketplace. Honestly, when I first started in the PC industry, there were so many more companies than there are now. So many more motherboard companies, so many more case companies, just so much more. We go to these giant PC fairs where they'd have literally stacks to the ceiling of different PC parts. You just go in and go, ah, oh, this is so awesome. Those days are gone. It's just not like that anymore. There's not very many brands. There really isn't. So even though, you know, AMD has some issues, heck, they've been around all this time while all these other companies have fallen off. There's been all these other CPU companies that have come around. You know, there's been a Cyrix there that had those, you know, their processors out there. They've had all kinds of different companies, but they've all failed. AMD has stayed there. So five years from now, things could change. AMD could really start getting money in and instead of just surviving and being the company that's there just to keep, you know, Intel from being the monopoly, which let's just, let's just admit, that's a f position to be in. Who wants to be that guy? Yeah, I'm just here because, well, Bob down the street, he can't sell potatoes if I don't. You know, that's just really stupid. So for AM to be competitive is freaking awesome. I love that, that aspect of it. It makes Intel have to totally shift their gears. And as we're seeing, <laughs> they're kind of losing in this battle big time. So five years from now, AMD could change things. It could be in the future that people actually totally recognize that AMD is the brand. That's the main brand. And Intel and Nvidia have become, you know, second stuff. 
It could happen. I mean, NVIDIA's talked plenty of times about maybe just dropping out of the entire GPU business. So guess what? That would leave Intel uh, and AMD, the only companies making CPUs and GPUs. And honestly, you guys may think I'm crazy, but I think that day may come. You guys think NVIDIA is like this greedy company, you guys call me greedy and all this stuff, but they're really not into the gaming division, man. They're into science, man. There's supercomputers into automated cars, into stuff like that. They're a big time technology company, really. AMD is a technology company, but they're a technology company based in the entertainment industry. That's really where all their stuff is. They do have servers now and stuff like that, but you know, they, they're they still really an entertainment type thing. Where NVIDIA is a totally different model altogether. So AMD really in a few years from now with a few changes could become the dominated company in both CPU and GPU technology. And honestly, I wouldn't have any problem with that. If AMD stuff can become better, I will buy AMD. I'll buy AMD video cards. I'll buy AMD memory. Heck, I'll buy AMD t-shirts, man, and give some to you, doggone it. Honestly, I'm a fan of tech. I don't care who's making it. Whoever makes the best tech is who I'm into. So if that tech at the time happened to be Intel or it happened to be you know, Nvidia, then I bought their tech. But AMD is catching up. And with a few changes and a few more years, I think that things are definitely going to change and we're going to see AMD in a way, way better and different position in the future. Um, I've got another video coming up. I'll make that in the day because it kind of seems like what we're hearing right now is that um, the big knobby, the biggest big knobby, you know, is only going to possibly be as fast as a 3070 and a little bit slower than the 3080. So that'll be a whole nother video. We'll talk about that. But for today, hey, AMD's come a long way, but they still got a lot of work to do. But if they keep focused, oh, and one thing I really wanted to mention, and also in this, is if AMD can keep flexing and changing their business model, that will keep them ahead of the game. Instead of just sticking to a, you know, a basic business model where we're like, okay, here's what we do, this works, so let's just never change it. In the end, you lose that way. So if AMD can be very flexible in how they do stuff and change the way they do business, honestly, that could be their biggest strength of all is being flexible in their business model. So if their shareholders and everything can actually see the future and imagine what a company could be, AMD could be the powerhouse company in the entire PC industry. I'm Elric. You guys have been watching Tech of Tomorrow. Peace out. I hope to see you guys here again. If you like what you see, hey, hit that sub button, but also make sure that you hit the notifications bell. Otherwise, they won't tell you I'm making videos, so you'll have no idea if I made one or not. Also, the software they showed in the beginning, all of it is guaranteed to work. I guarantee it as well. You have a problem, you contact me or the company, it will be taken care of immediately. But the only problem I've ever seen is some guy tried to do an upgrade. It's not an upgrade key, it's an actual, you know, an OEM key for just doing fresh installs or just changing your serial number in your system already. It's not an upgrade. So this guy got all mad at me. He was like, eh, it's not that. So that's it, folks. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, try Amazon Prime for free. I won't give the spoiler because people were getting mad at me last video and saying, oh man, spoiler alert. But what if my spoiler alert was wrong? What if I was wrong? And it wasn't really a spoiled alert at all. It was just Elric having a spoiled opinion. Something to consider. Peace out.